welcome you to South Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to introduce to you Prof. Barry and Prof. Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. In my estimation as a psychologist, numbers have ruled the world. So I'll be curious as an opening question to get your perspective of what do you think is the reality of the algorithm in this timeless th uh, space of yesterday and tomorrow. Okay, so um, I think that I honestly don't have that much experience because I am only nine and I have not seen the last century. I have not seen how the num these numbers or algorithms, as you call it, have affected the world. But I think that I have just enough experience to say that, yes, algorithms have been affecting the world <clears throat> Un uh, very remarkably in the last few uh, years because the, the algorithm the algorithm is the thing that drives all our mathematical and scientific calculations it is that uh, and mathematics and science has been well, really the thing that has been advancing and improving and accelerating in these past few years but also numbers rule the world in the terms of well uh, oh, social media we have been uh, become a lot more involved with technology especially our phones and computers and whatnot in fact i see we are recording with phones right now and some people are on their phones so you, you can really see the mark that uh, all this math and science has made on our world if you can see the mark that our algorithms and our technology has made so it has very remarkably ruled the world and i think that it will become even more powerful on us if we don't try and change something over time and some people are even uh, uh, criticizing this kind of things like it's an addiction but technology is uh, going to make its course whether we like it or not and artificial intelligence is going to be something out of our control in the next few years especially because the artificial Artificial intelligence. Now we created it with an intent and with uh, some programming lines of code. But consciousness can allow something to do whatever it wants. So all our algorithms might turn into androrhythms. So we really don't know whether our algorithms will continue ruling these kinds of numbers, or maybe the androrhythm will take the throne in the future, and maybe even we will be wiped out by artificial intelligence. So I feel like the algorithm's reign has been long, and this might come to an end soon. But it has been ruling over the world for these past few years for no doubt.